Hello everyone, welcome in Crochet Life and Stuff with Deborah presents me, Deborah, um, with Vlogtober slash Crochettober. It is, it's the 29th already. What? Where is October going? I've really been having so much fun this month. I want to welcome everybody in. Uh, if you're new here, thank you. Thank you for deciding to stop by. And if you've been here a while and you've seen this crazy stuff over and over again, thank you for coming back. Yeah. Um, Vlogtober, in case you have uh, not been around this month, basically some awesome folks uh, on YouTube, namely uh, Neva from Manic Mama Musings and, and Ashley from Stitching Ain't Easy, decided to start Crochettober 2021. And that's where we get together and we do a cool blanket, which I will show you in a minute. I will have everybody linked down below that I know that's involved with it. Um, Ella from No Catchy Name, the two ladies that I mentioned that started it, Lama Mama Kayla, Cynthia's Crochet and More May. I know I'm forgetting somebody and I'm having a brain fart, so uh, everything will be linked down below, I promise. Um, but today, before I show you the awesome blanket, because I am really digging this blanket project, I have to show you some happy mail. First off, this. I got a postcard. I got a postcard. Yes. Uh, this is from the wonderful Miss Neva. She is in New Mexico and I actually love New Mexico. I have been out there. This is a whole bunch of different scenes of different places all over New Mexico. I have not seen all of them. I haven't been to that many places out there, but thank you, Neva. I know you're in here worrying about how long it take to took to send. No. Life is life and it gets in the way. I'm just glad to have it. And I thank you for giving me the idea to do postcard swapping with people and totally put it in my description. Also down below, if you'd like to swap postcards with me, look down in my description, it tells you exactly what you need to do and uh, we'll do the thing. No pressure, it's, it's just for fun and to get to keep and collect awesome postcards from your YouTube friends and family because yes, you guys are my friends and family. For real thank you neva love it i was so excited the hubby you know because he gets the email from the post office that shows you what you get in the mail every day he says looks like you got a postcard from new mexico I'm like yes that's awesome so yeah thank you put it over here i've actually had it for a few days and it's been sitting over there where i normally sit in crochet and i can see it and i see it there and i'm like oh i got a postcard because it really does make me happy to receive a postcard and then I'd forget to bring it over here when I'm doing a video because, you know, Dane Bramage or something. Still haven't done my nails again yet either. Yeah, I'll be doing my glow in the dark nails for basically the weekend. Of course, I'll leave them on for two weeks because that's what I do. I do have some other happy mail though. I do have this. It is from, it's upside down, the Garden State Gardener, uh, Joe. He does a huge live every uh, Sunday night and it's gardening it's crochet it's basically community building and he does giveaways like crazy and you might have seen a couple of weeks ago my first time at his live i've been subscribed for a while but my first time actually going and participating in the live i won a flipping caron anniversary cake yes so you know i've been following his channel he's fun he eats really disgusting jelly beans for his son, like, whoa. And um, I decided to go ahead and become a member of his channel. So this is my member pack, which I'm just opening right now. I just, oh, and by the way, it is the very first time that I have had mail sent to actually crochet life and stuff with Deborah. <laughs> that's hilarious. So that's a thing. Um, there we go. I finally got it open. Make sure I'm not leaving anything behind because I had to grab it out of there awkwardly because uh, I'm not the most coordinated person in the world. Oh, how cute. Okay, first off, Jelly Bean Squad membership. Thank you, Joseph Reed and Joseph. See, the second Joseph is probably Jojo, his son, who, uh, yeah. He's a cool kid and uh, he's a smart kid. He made student of the month. Hello. So yeah, 
Anyway, take part in their lives. I'll have them linked down below. But look what else I got. He sent this cool thing in here. This felt friends ornament kit. Kit. Can I even talk today? Makes a great gift topper or fashion accessory. That is super cute. It's got all the instructions, pre-cut felt stuff, little sparkly stuff for the antenna, ages eight and plus, so maybe I can handle it. So the additional supplies needed, scissors, a chopstick or a wooden dowel, optional, and fabric glue, optional. I actually have all of those things. So I feel like I'm ready, okay. <laughs> so thank you, thank you, Joe. Thank you, Neva, thank you everyone who has been sending stuff and who's been making great comments. And you know, this is Vlogtober slash Crochettober. So I've been talking a little bit about life because this channel is more than just crochet. It's crochet life and stuff. And if you've missed out on some of the stuff, um, the car got fixed, yay. It still has other things that need to be fixed. My AC is still on the fritz, which is fine now because it's cooled off, but my exhaust system does need to be fixed that's something that we've just had to deal with i live well have you ever heard jeff fox where they say how do you get your house you turn off the paved road you literally have to turn off the paved road I'm, I'm not on pavement for a mile in any direction um the road itself isn't usually the problem my driveway is usually the problem because it's a slope and it goes around a curve before you get to the road and then it rains and washes out. If you've ever had a gravel slash dirt slash clay driveway, you know exactly what I mean. And the bottom has been bumped a lot because the car rides a little low. It's a Nissan Altima, but it just, yeah, it rides a little low. So my exhaust system has a leak. Oh, it sounds like a mean car going down the road. Yeah. Um, but I need to get that fixed. We, the mechanic that we know can do it, but we're down to one vehicle. So it's a matter of you know getting the car over there, having the time to leave it there so that they can take care of it and then getting it back. It'll get done soon. Uh, the hubby is was at the doctor today. Actually, he's had several appointments. He has had back problems for many years. Since before we met, he had a back injury. And um, now he's looking at doing something about it and it's probably going to take surgery so he has had uh he has to get some he had to get x-rays today um he had some kind of a, a scan the other day he has to have an mri because they have to do all the bits he's got different problems in different parts of his back so he had to go all the way to gainesville to do that he's on his way back right now and it's raining outside Blah. i mean i like the rain but i'm not happy about the rain this weekend it's coming into the weekend because tomorrow I'm going to Mad World. That is an outdoor experience. I mean, you go in and out of buildings and stuff, but it's going to be muddy. It's a good thing I always plan on wearing my boots, uh, not my pink combat boots, my black ones that are actually leather and uh, can handle <laughs> the weather and stuff because I know it's rough on the feet because you're, there, there are tree roots and stuff you can step on. And I mean, I'm pretty sturdy as far as being stable on my feet. Um, because and also I know to wear good sturdy solid shoes when I do it I should be sturdy I wear a size 13 shoes in women's that's 11 in men's of course I am nearly six foot tall so it's a good thing I have a good foundation otherwise I tip over Woo! <laughs> by the way these are some earrings that I've had for several years I absolutely adore them my little sugar skulls the little eyes kind of sparkle because they're red crystally doohickeys and y'all have seen these little hands before they've been on my shirt now they're trying to grab my head you know had to bust out the dark purple, purple lipstick because i don't get to very often and this shirt is a halloween shirt that i have had for a number of years and the glow in the dark business has really faded over the years but the moon and the little stars and the cat's eyes and stuff do glow in the dark if they're outside for a minute first and get good and charged up but you know what can I say? I love Halloween. Yes, I love Halloween season. Just a kid at heart in that manner. I'm an old kid. Speaking of being a kid, I was a kid and a teenager in the 80s. And there are some folks who are getting together to do sort of a very casual make-along called 
that 80s show for a whole year. It's starting, well, it started yesterday, technically, with Neva's uh, Potiversary, her two-year Potiversary. She wants to do it for the whole year. Basically, once a month, you make something that's 80s inspired, looks like 80s, maybe an 80s pattern. Doesn't have to be crochet, doesn't have to be knit. Do you paint? Do you macrame? Whatever you do, show it off and have fun. Do you still have your shoulder pads and, and some outfits? Bust those babies out. Let's see what they look like. Uh, <laughs> I'm looking forward to it. I enjoy the 80s and I know that Neva will definitely have playlists for this because she makes like song playlists and she links them because you can watch all that on YouTube, you know, the playlists and songs, and I know I'll be jamming to all of that. To the blanket. I am not done today. I did not have enough time at lunchtime. I made an enormous salad um, for me and the hubby before he went to his appointment. Uh, so yeah, that was what I was dealing with. There were you know, cucumbers and tomatoes and lettuce and some ham and some seeds and stuff. What else did I put in there? I had a lot of stuff in there, but I had to prep it and everything and get it ready, you know, so that we could eat it. So I only get an hour for a lunch break. Okay. I did start off with this today, this blue. It is a random blue. I don't know what it is or where it came from. Just a random scrap ball that I had. And it made it, let's see how far it made it today. Okay, one side, two sides, and rounded that little corner. And then I have started with this random brown scrap ball that I have put other places um, just filling in. Because I don't just do a scrap ball for me. I want to get completely around in a day. Um, and no, I have not done my ends in a few days. I know you're looking at the back side of this and not the spider web side. But dude... Oh God, I just dropped the scrap ball. Hopefully Oscar doesn't see it. It is huge and I'm loving it. This has been so much fun. <laughs> and um, everybody's blanket looks different. It's got different stuff. Some people have appliques, some people don't. Some people are changing their colors different ways. Some people are doing different stitches. Why didn't I think of doing different stitches? But yeah, I'm kind of, for me, I guess on mine, sort of the stitch is the cohesive part. And the colors are just wild. This is, it's awesome. And it's fun to say that I have made some new crochet friends because this community is the best. Tomorrow there will be another uh, Crochet-tober slash Vlogtober. I will also have my um, Saturday vloggy thing video. I'm not sure what time I'll get it done because I've committed myself to another eight hours of overtime tomorrow because of course I did. But, you know, that is a thing. <laughs> it's what I do. I do overtime. And um, be sure and check out all of my crochet friends that I have linked below. Also, thank you for making it this far in the video. The only thing that all of us content creators ever really ask is that you watch our videos. Um, watch them to the end. It helps us out. Leave a like if you like it. Leave a comment. We love to hear from you. I know I love to hear from you. Yes, I have not caught up on yesterday's comments yet, but you know I will. And um, it'll be fun. Let's keep this going. If you haven't entered my giveaway yet, be sure and go look at that post. It is marked as a giveaway. It is for my 500 subscriber giveaway, which now I am up to, as that screen says, 566? Y'all, thank you. Thank you so much for coming around and being a part of this crazy crochet life and stuff adventure. Adventure of a beginner crocheter because that is what I am. I will see you very soon, hopefully, and uh, take care now.